Hello, Stefan here with Liquidity with a video about the German verb Glauben. Liquidity. The German verb Glauben usually translates into English with to believe. And just as in English, it can express both secular and spiritual aspects of holding certain opinions and convictions. Glauben conjugates very straightforwardly, very regularly. So in the present tense, it would be Ich glaube, du glaubst, er sie es glaubt. Wir glauben, ihr glaubt. Sie glauben. In the past tense, in the preterite, it would be Ich glaubte, du glaubtest, er sie es glaubte. Wir glaubten, ihr glaubtet, sie glaubten. And the past participle is geglaubt. So if I want to create the German equivalence to the present perfect or past perfect, it would be ich habe geglaubt, ich hatte geglaubt, and so forth. As with the English verb to believe, glauben can mean both to have a certain conviction. It can also just simply mean to think something, right? So for instance, the German question glaubst du? can technically mean both are you a believer and you think so or do you think so? And just as in English, a little preposition can make a big difference. So in English, when we say to believe in something or in someone, it changes the connotation, it changes the meaning of the verb, right? And in German, we use the preposition an. So for instance, if you say, Glaubst du an mich? That would mean in English, do you believe in me? Do you believe in me as in, do you trust me? Do you have faith in me? Do you think I can do whatever it is that I'm supposed to be doing? Do you think I'm capable of that? Or you could say, glaubst du an Dona? Do you believe in Thor? I'm just using that as an example, just because Thor is kind of the coolest of all the gods. He's got that hammer, he makes thunderstorms, he rides over the clouds on his horse, and he looks like Chris Hemsworth, which is not a bad thing. The noun version of Glauben is der Glaube, and that translates into English fairly easily as faith. Faith can be something spiritual, but can also be uh, faith in a secular cause, right? It can be a belief in a political system or an ideology or in a in in yeah in a, in a cause. The adjective gläubig or gläubig has much more of a religious and spiritual connotation. So it's really used more for religious faith. It best translates into English as pious. If you want to translate the English word faithful back into German, and you don't mean the religious kind of faithful, but more of a relationship, faithful sort of meaning, that would translate into German as toy. So Troy is faithful in a relationship in, in the sense that you can be trusted. When we talk about the noun version of Gläubig, it becomes a little bit more complicated because they're actually two distinct words. So the straightforward version of Gläubig would be der Gläubige or die Gläubige, which means a faithful person, a pious person, somebody who is a person of faith. But we also have the noun der Gläubiger, or the female version would be die Gläubigerin. And that means a creditor, somebody who you owe money to. So somebody who has trusted you with a loan, basically. And creditor also has the Latin word for belief in it, right? Credere. I would like to share two more adjectives that include the glaub stem of the verb glauben, and one would be glaubhaft, and the other one would be glaubwürdig. They both mean very similar things, but they have a specific nuance differentiation, how these words are used, how they are understood. The adjective glaubhaft means simply credible, believable, and the noun 
Glaubhaftigkeit is directly derived from that. Believability, credibility. The adjective glaubwürdig literally means to be worthy of being trusted or believed. So the English word trustworthy might be the best translation for that. Uh, legitimate might be also another translation that could be used depending on the context. Thanks for watching. If you can think of any other words that are related to Glauben, please leave them in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Check out my other videos if you haven't done so yet. And uh, if you like those, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Tschüss.